Hey, Singers from the Hidden Levels here with a completion thought on ACA Neo Geo Metal Slug 2. Just like with all the Neo Geo games that was released on the Xbox One, um, the achievements are to get a certain amount of score in each of the three modes, Original, High Score, and Caravan, and to register a high score on online in Original and High Score mode, and to register a local high score on the Original mode. <coughs> and same as uh, others original mode you're allowed to change the game settings like the difficulty number of lives things like that uh, high score and caravan mode you're not allowed to change any settings and you're not allowed any continues uh, in addition in the caravan mode you have to you have just five minutes and one other thing is that uh, i use a trick on <coughs> the original mode to you know save myself some grief the game is not hard but I keep creating interrupt save data this is like a safe state if you've used any emulators so yep doesn't matter which characters you select I'm gonna be showing you the first couple of levels and then the third level you can do whatever you want i show two levels only because it's very important for the high score and caravan mode <coughs> so i lower the difficulty to level one basically you want to rescue all the host hostages and don't die okay that is very important um having all the hostages plus not dying gives you uh, 200,000 bonus plus having the vehicle at the end is another 100,000 bonus for this one it's easier to just throw a couple of grenades and uh, the hostage hidden at the top you want to definitely get that okay. yeah, make sure you're rescuing all of these not just hitting them but actually getting uh, getting them feel free to use the bombs it doesn't matter I, I don't use it very often but feel free pick this up and you have to actually get up there to get that hostage she doesn't come down there's one hidden kind of hidden above there another one on the right that guy keeps following you and uh, throws like fireballs kind of helpful it's not too much but <coughs> Yeah, just be careful it's a pretty easy level so you shouldn't have too much troubles and if you die it's just a matter of restarting so it's not, it's not a huge problem for this uh, the reason I show you this first level because caravan mode has a requirement of 500,000 for the score and uh, beating this level perfect gets you about 600,000 so it's just about the right number of points that you need um, and also uh, for the high score if you s complete the second level perfect you're gonna have about 100 1 million to 1.1 million and the requirement for the high score is 1 million so that's where that's how much I'm gonna show you in this video uh, and then I'm not gonna show you how I've done the actual the other you want to shoot the red red helicopter as much as possible that gets you the most amount of score if you destroy the other helicopters um, you get less score you can but you get less score uh, for this fight you want to kind of stay on the right side I decide to create an interrupt save just in case I don't get hit but just think I do that just in case here be careful when these guys are coming down kill them and the fireball guy is gonna help you a little bit okay once those rocket launcher guys come out they're gonna start it's gonna actually supposed to go back and forth because I'm on level one the ship died very quickly uh, the ship goes back and forth and you just keep going left and right and avoiding the attacks not too hard okay so all 10 rescued plus the vehicle gives you 320,000 bonus points and you can see I have about 560,000 there 
So I get the achievement for five five hundred thousand already. And I create interrupt save data whenever uh, I feel you know I made some progress or there's a chance to die. No, just in case, you know. <coughs> All right, so this part there's once again some hidden enemies, uh, hidden hostages that you have to rescue and some secret stuff for points that you have to do. So kill that and inside there is going to be a hostage but not yet. You have to wait until actually you kill them all. Now there will be a hostage so go rescue. Make sure you rescue this guy because um, if you don't you're not going to get a perfect. Alright, and now just kill these things, just keep moving. They drop some gems, uh, you can pick them up, but they're only like 100 points, 200 points. Very low score, so do whatever you want. You do want to go pick up that flame quickly, it does disappear. It's very helpful weapon here, as it's a one hit kill. They rescue all these hostages, don't forget. If you kill the mummies with your uh, knife, you get more points, but it's of course more dangerous, so be careful if you try that. But the, the mummies actually don't kill you with one shot, they're gonna turn you into a zombie. And um, you can make sure to rescue that guy before you kill all the mummies. If you don't and the door opens, you actually miss it because you just progress. <coughs> okay, make another save here. You can make saves anywhere. Uh, I, I just do these because just in case. And get that. Be careful. Make sure to pick up this thing. If you shoot him, it's gonna give you a gem that's worth 50,000 points. There's a lot of points there. The shotgun is a very powerful weapon, but it needs, you need to be very close, so be careful. Okay. okay, coming up is a kind of a tough jump. I actually die a couple times and reload. Reloading is just a matter of going to the title screen and then um, going back into the original mode. Not here, but after we go left a little bit, it's gonna, we're going to come to a very difficult jump. I, I'm not really sure why I found it so difficult. I think I could kill this guy from here, but I had a little bit of trouble, so I decided to just jump in and kill him. We're gonna get a shotgun soon anyway, so don't worry too much that we don't have that many ammo. Okay, be careful with this. I make a save just in case. Time your jump so you can get that. I sometimes get 30,000 there or 10, th just 1,000 there. I'm not sure what's the condition for that. So get this, get this, and then here, uh, the genie. Okay. Once it appears and gets that money, grab it. Um, actually, <coughs> you can get more money by, some, by uh, having another genie lamp up here uh, if you time it right but I couldn't t I couldn't do that I saw it in a video but I'm not sure exactly how so if you, you might get lucky and you may get another genie but I just couldn't do it so kill all these guys okay great I skip that chest because sometimes bats come out. It's annoying. It doesn't like damage you or anything. It's just annoying. Be careful to stay in the vehicle. Like don't jump out. I made a mistake to jump out and I had to. <laughs> That's why I created a save there. Okay, we're going to be fighting the boss soon. Make another save here just in case. All of the saves I make are just in case. Uh, so I actually got hit there. 
if you get hit, you do lose one of the arms, and you, so your p firepower is less. So try not to get hit, and you may want to actually reload if you are not confident about killing him with just one uh, arm. If you do get hit one more time, you lose both of the cannons, and you, you have to use the the heavy cannon thing, which you only have 10 of, and you're not likely to kill the guy, so you might as well reload if that happens. Since having the vehicle at the end is vital for getting the bonus points and the score you need for the achievement. So there you go, I'm past 1 million. That is the high score requirement. So if you skip the genie, you may not have enough, but you can still get a couple more points in the third level and that should be enough. Alright, so that was the... So this is the um, finishing up. I'm, this is actually the beginning of the fourth level. I'm trying to kill myself here so I can actually register the local high score plus the uh, online high score. You do have to kill yourself, so be careful. Uh, don't set your lives too high like I did. I set it at 50 and and I ended up like using uh, interrupt save and never dying. So it, I, I didn't. I need. I didn't even die once. So. Okay, so that completes the original mode. Uh, I have uh, finally died everything. Uh, I'm gonna record a uh, high score locally and upload that score. You see my high score on 1.51 mil. And that gets me the achievements. And then I'll move on to the caravan mode as well as the uh, high score mode here. I believe I did the caravan mode first. I'm not gonna show you, basically just do the first level perfect. The only difference is that uh, we're playing on the level 4 difficulty instead of level 1 difficulty, so the enemies take a little bit longer to die. But uh, once you beat the first level without dying and collecting all the hostages, you'll have about 550-560,000, uh, same as my original mode playthrough. And that will be enough to get you all of the achievement in the caravan mode. Alright, there you go. And I just cut to the end. I rescue them all. I have 575,000 just about. And that gets me the 500,000 and 300,000 achievement. And that ends the caravan mode. I don't have to play any more of this. Now onto the high score mode. I actually die in the second level for the high score. And that kind of made it so that I had to play through to the third level. But... If you do well on the second level, you should have no problem. The game is easy enough. Uh, I found it surprisingly easy as the Metal Slug games were. But the first game was pretty difficult. And I remember third game being quite difficult as well. I found this game very easy. And uh, I had no problem going through the third level and getting enough points to get the achievement anyway. But um, yeah, it's ideal if you play the second level perfect so that you don't have to move on to the third level but yeah once again I'm gonna cut to the end and show you the third level uh, where I get the achievement I end up beating the s final boss or I think I fight the final boss and I get it in the middle of that boss fight the required score is 1 million Yeah, I'm getting very close as you can see. The boss fight starts right about now. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start by saying outros here. You can see what happens. Uh, so basically, <coughs> get it a little bit. It's not a big deal. Uh, basically, I'm not gonna review this game. This game has been out for like 20 years. Uh, if you want to read reviews, uh, do, a, do a quick search on Google and you'll find the plenty of that. And um, so, yeah. The achievement wise, I already discussed all that good stuff. Yeah, so, um, as far as achievements go, I found this to be one of the easier Neo Geo games. Difficulty, maybe 2 out of 10. 
maximum three out of ten I can't give it any more any higher than that and um, takes about one hour or less probably like 30 minutes depends how well you do I mean uh, if you die on the first second level then uh, you're gonna have to retry quite a bit but if you just succeed on the first try yep that's it I mean I already got the achievement I'm just playing for fun here so thanks for watching my name is Ingress from the hidden levels um, you'll see me with all the achievements very soon here and if you like what you saw subscribe to our channel for more uh, like this video leave a comment tell me what you like what you didn't like and uh, we got more stuff in our in the descriptions below so check that out we do like streams we have a website we got all that good stuff check that out and i'll be back with more videos very soon